Next up is uh, truly, truly one of my favorite people. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> photogra <laughs> photographer, uh, actress, humanitarian, <coughs> jack of all trades. <laughs> Miss Hadley Harper. I wanted to tell you about something kind of peculiar that happened to me last spring. My parents were here visiting, and it was kind of it's kind of a slow time of year in Santa Fe. It was like the May, and the summer wasn't really in full swing yet, and. I was trying to think of some things for us to do on my day off, and I suggested that we go on a, a hike and a picnic up on the Rio and Medio Trail. And I, I had to th kind of run this by them because really my parents are, they're from Philadelphia and they're kind of country clubby, preppy people and you know, it's, they're really more into doing cultural activities and not that into nature. So, but they said, okay, sure, that sounds fine. So. I said, okay, well, I just, it's like an hour and a half up to this waterfall, and, you know, it's on a, like a kind of a bumpy trail, and then they acted really kind of insulted, and they said, what, do you think we're wimps? And I said, no, no, it's fine, you know, we'll go. So we packed a backpack, and we went up there and parked and hiked along the trail, and sure enough, just as I should have known better, about 10 minutes into this, my mother started to bitch and just <laughs> complain, like, oh, you know, I just don't see what the appeal is, just tramping through the woods. I mean, what's the point? And to make it worse, it was kind of, you know, the late spring, so the river was really high, and, you know, on that trail, you know, if you've taken it, you have to cross it several times, and it got worse every time we had to cross over a log or, you know, stepping stones as they would, I would go, you know, again. And then finally we get up to the very bucolic, beautiful waterfall, and, of course, there were a bunch of, like hippie type people up there. Most of them are naked and I thought, okay, I gotta really think fast here because this isn't gonna work. So I said, really, you know, okay, the best picnic spot is right over top of this waterfall and and I really hadn't ever climbed up there. You know, I'd, I'd always gone to this one place and I thought, well, I'm just gonna kinda gamble this. So we climbed up, you know, it was, and it's difficult. I mean, you know, those of you who have ever tried it, it's not easy to, you know, it's sort of like, a, you know, definitely a climb up there and I was trying to help my mom up and my dad and uh, when I turned around, when, right after I got them up, there was, a man standing there in the middle. There was no one else up there. But this one guy, who was one of the most wildest looking guys I've ever seen. He was where he was very like hairy. He had a lot of like gray kind of wild hair, and he was wearing a vest with no shirt on underneath. And he had on some leather pants that were kind of like rawhide pants that were sort of like sewn together with like gut or something like that. <laughs> and I was so startled to see him. I said hello. And my mother was so exasperated, she just turned and said, how much further? And I kind of laughed because, you know, this trail goes all the way over to Pecos and then beyond, you know, and he doesn't know idea where we're going. And, and he said, so I laughed, he said, further to what? And I just said, um, what's your name? And he said, I'm Freedom. And I said, Freedom, I'm Hadley Harper, and this is my parents, Annette and Jim, and right at that moment, a large insect came and landed on my mom. I don't know what it was, like a wasp type thing, and it bit her. And I kind of went for it, but it was bitter. And as before she could even like, she kind of went, <gasps> and before she could say anything, Freedom said, you know what, that's gonna really hurt in about two, five seconds, and I have a first aid kit. So come with me, and I'll take care of that. So I didn't even question it, and I thought, you know, at this point I was kind of, I was getting kind of tired of my parents, and I thought, this is, uh, this is great, you know, because this is exactly the kind of freaky person who they um, don't encounter that much in their lives. So we went off, we kind of went off the trail, past some trees, and came along, a, you know, a, a big stone cliff, and around a corner, and I realized we were going to where this guy lives which is, is in this cave up there. He's like a, a real 21st century caveman. And it's, we get in this sort of like cave and there's in there a, a you know, mat with his sleeping bag and a little Coleman stove and a couple of boxes, wooden boxes of food and a cooler. And uh, he started rummaging around in the uh, uh, box for his back team, you know, that he was gonna put, give to my mother. 
And he had on a ledge in the cave, there was a row of books. And I, I was curious about it. So I was looking at the books and they were mostly kind of survival guides, like, you know, edible mushrooms, mushroom identification, trees and things like that. And then, but the rest of them were really uh, books of sort of cla uh, classic poetry, you know, Emily Dickinson, Thoreau, Emerson. And so I said to him, I said, so are you, are you a poet? And he said, you know, I guess so. He said, you know, my eighth grade teacher at the William Penn Charter School used to say, I mean, she's almost there, yeah. <laughs> used to say that being a poet is a state of mind. And at that point, I looked at my dad, not so much about the thing about poetry or anything about it, it was the, the thing that grabbed me was William Penn Charter School. And there was a, a look on my dad's face kind of of confusion. And I said, Freedom, did you have another name before people started calling you Freedom? And he said, well, as a matter of fact, yes, I used to be called Bill Kellogg. And I said, Bill Kellogg. And I looked at my dad and I said, class of 58, William Penn Charter School? And he said, yes. And my dad said, Bill Kellogg, Jim Harper, class of 58, William Penn Charter School. Hmm. I said, well, what a lucky day this is, Bill, Jim. <laughs> Jim, my dad, is, uh, is the chairman of the reunion committee at, at William Penn Charter School, and he has been looking for you for months, Bill. <laughs> and here you are. Thank you.